not pay them extravagant prices and break your bank balance, well, look no further. Stay tuned, ladies. Yep, my tip is to go on the pre-love market and look for a vintage lady duo. They are going for great prices and very good in quality still. So here's my lady duo. Um, this lady duo is a vintage piece. It was initially called the Chocho -cho <laughs> in French. Um, uh, circa 1994 to 1996 before it was called the lady duo, right? And uh, yeah, I scored this bag, you wouldn't believe it, for only $1,000, okay? On retail, brand new, it's going for way, way more than that. And it's still in very good condition. So let me show you how I'm gonna revamp this bag so that she's gonna look super duper new and on point. Okay, first thing up, let's go and have a look at the quality of this bag. Okay, the difference from a vintage Lady Dior um, is that the leather is very supple. Okay, you can see she bends, okay? The newer designs are very structured. That's what I love about the vintage piece, right? And also, there is a zipper on the top, okay? You can see the zipper that zips right through. So it will secure your items in the bag. And the other thing is that it does not come with any brass feet. The, the newer designs have four brass feet, I think. Um, okay, and her hardware is still pretty pristine. We will polish her up and she will look very shiny. You can see she's still very shiny, okay? And uh, before I proceed with the polishing, because she's very soft, I decided to purchase myself a from Samoga. You know, Samoga does inserts. For those of you who follow me, I do like to buy their inserts for my bags and for my wallets. Um, do, do look out for the video that, that can turn your basic wallet into wax wallet on chains for only a small fraction of the price than what you would pay at the store nowadays. Okay, turn a Chanel walk, turn a Dior walk, a Gucci walk, no problem though. Okay, so I am going to put this insert into the bag and you will see the difference in the structure, okay? It's quite simple to put it in. Basically, just slide it in because the the Samoga insert is quite, um, you know, soft also. And voila, see the difference already. She's much more structured, okay? And I can't bend her as easily as before, okay? And this bit, you can see that she is not as squishy as before, okay? So the only thing is that um, for vintage uh, Lady uh, Dior or Choo Choo, it does not have a serial number. If you're okay with that, I say do it because for me, it is a unicorn bag. It is a first edition Lady Dior bag and in time, it will definitely go up in price. Um, I've bought many, many uh, vintage Chanel's um, way before production. I mean, the serial number came up, you know, um, they were circa like 19, early 1980s and they're still worth quite a penny now and I believe so that with the Lady Dior in time, I mean now it's expensive but in time it will be more expensive so it's worthwhile getting a vintage piece for a fraction of a price and in time it will be an investment piece. I mean it is really now an investment piece, okay? So there it goes. Um, the older Lady Dior's, I believe, did not come with uh, bag straps. So I have, you know, used, took a bag strap from one of my other black bags to, to complement the bag, okay? And you can just hook it up to you how you want to hook it. I like to hook it um, like so, okay, here. And sort of like diagonally to the back. Okay, so one in the front, 
and straighten the strap and on the alternate side on the back okay and it will look very nice okay so if i want to have it as a arm bag i would do like so and if i wanted a sling bag i would sling it like so all right it's really really quite nice all right and okay so now we're gonna give her a little tlc and by doing so we are going to give her a quick polish and wax okay so what i normally do is that get yourself some black shoe polish okay this really helps by vamping out old bags leather bags i mean i've done it with my chanel's for many years and it keeps them pristine and also some mink oil or any kind of um you know a leather balm that will help to give it a bit of shine so what do i do is that okay i will use the black polish all righty and just give it a little bit of a dab all right on a tissue or on a cloth up to you and if you can see okay the corners i normally just give it a bit of a little brush around the corners okay, apologies for the lighting because i'm currently traveling overseas and i do not have my home studio with me but i wanted to share with you this beautiful find that i bought recently okay and also this corner so i normally do the corners because the corners are the one that tends to get you know knocked around more so than um the rest of the bags and if you see any scratches like here okay just give it a bit of a a black kind of like polish okay and uh, i will continue to do that with all the bags i mean with the rest of the bag and I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so now I am going to use the mink oil and a polishing cloth to give the bag a, a shine, all right? So a lot of old bags, old leather bags, if you don't maintain it, they will smell and they will also dry up and start cracking. So by using the balm, you actually give it a lot of like nourishing and nourishment and moisture to the bag all right so you just wipe generously all over the bag the leather and um yeah i'll give you a look in a minute i'll just continue doing that so you can see the difference this is the original and by polishing with the leather balm it immediately gets a shine a sheen to it okay can you see the difference that and now I'm going to do the rest. Okay, so make sure you also polish the handles, all right? And um, every nook and cranny of the bag, all right? Even the insides here, okay? Just not the fabric, only the leather. And so voila, here you go. A lady Dior for only a thousand and looking almost banking new. So how do I know that she's an original item? So you can see the hardware has the CD logo on it. Okay, and you can visually see that the gold hardware is actually still in uh, very good quality and still having a bit of shine, even though there's some scratches, but there's a certain shimmer to it as you can see all right and the other thing is that you can see also that the zipper has a cd logo and you can feel the hardware is really solid vintage luxury bags the quality is so su far superior than um current um you know models and design and i really really love vintage items so if you if you enjoy vintage pieces as much as i do do follow me on my lee beauty um you know channel 
and also and like and subscribe okay so you can see there's also a flat screw pretty similar to that of the chanel okay the flat screw heads on all sides and in the interior okay, that's my samoga insert there but you can see there is the lady the christian dior um you know stamping and also yeah you can see also um, the lining and as you can see the lining is also the matching lining all right okay so i hope you enjoyed this um, video and what i had to share with you and yeah so um, for me vintage is the way to go pre-love is the way to go um, circular fashion is the way of the future so yeah join me as i travel the world and seek many new luxury finds and if you're thinking and asking yourself what this little pretty necklace is all about do check out um the video also uh, on christian le Bouton. it's such a pretty find that i got here in saudi arabia yeah so yeah See you everyone and enjoyed sharing with you this beautiful and amazing experience and stay tuned for the next video for many many more adventures and stories. Bye!